It's Labor Day Monday, and the TPC of Boston is abuzz as workers of all kinds prepare for the final round of the Deutsche Bank Championship. While the leaders arrive in advance of their presumptive final round drama, those on the playoff bubble scramble just to make it into the final 70 and advance. All of those putts within a few feet turns into his third double bogey in the last five holes. Charles Schwartzel's disaster on 18 Sunday not only cost him a double bogey, but it may have cost him a trip to Indianapolis. Fittingly, after struggling much of the day, it came down to that same hole. This time, a birdie on 18, and the South African advances, barely. Charles Schwartzel comes up with a clutch birdie on the final hole, snatches that ball out of the cup. I think he can make reservations for Crooked Stick. On the other side of the line is Sweden's Jonas Blixt. After a three under 68 moves him up 26 spots to 71st, he has to wait nearly two hours to learn his playoff fate. It comes down to former Deutsche Bank champ Charlie Hoffman. A par on 18 gets him in and leaves Blixt on the outside of the top 70. And Charlie Hoffman is the last to punch his ticket to Crooked Stick. For anyone to catch Louis Oosthuizen, it's going to take an epic charge. Three shots clear of Rory McIlroy and six ahead of Tiger Woods. The former Open champ looks for a repeat of his front nine fireworks from Sunday. But early in the round, all the noise is coming from the boy wonder. Rory McIlroy, second birdie in a row, pulls within one of our leader. Today was great, you know, going out with a three-shot deficit. Uh, you know, I just wanted to get off to a good solid start and maybe put Lee under a little bit of pressure. A disastrous tee shot on the fifth by Oosthuizen leads to a double bogey. Can somebody on five tell me where Louis just went, please? Meanwhile, Rory strikes again with another dazzling approach. This one into the par four sixth. With the birdie, the Northern Irishman is out in front. While Tiger is slowly creeping back into the fray. After a slow start, he makes three birdies in a four-hole stretch to pull within three of McElroy. Get in the hole! That is very well done. How about in? Ooh, what a shot. <laughs> but Rory continues to put the pressure on. A birdie at the eighth gets him to 20 under, and two clear of Oosthuizen, three away from Tiger. The great ones have the ability to take command of the leaderboard. And when they sense victory, grind even harder. Now with the lead, McElroy continues to attack on the back nine. A birdie at 12 gets him to 21 under, Two clear of Louis Oosthuizen and four from Tiger Woods. Tiger gives himself chances, but can get no closer than two shots. A final round 66 is good, but not good enough. The pins were accessible. I had a bunch of looks at it from the fairway and didn't hit it close enough. It was definitely gettable. Look at the, the scores today. I and mean, everyone seemed like they shot three or four, five, six hundred par today. Oosthuizen has been one step behind McElroy all day. His three-shot lead, a distant memory. But birdies at 13, and then another at 15, pull him within one of the lead. I felt like I hung in there, the, the back nine, Rory at a stage with three shots ahead of me, and I felt like I did good to put myself, you know, within one, two holes to go. Clinging to a one-shot lead on 18, Rory has a birdie putt to seal his third victory of the season. Just on the edge. So that leaves one last little opening for Oosthuizen. This descended to sudden death. Playoff. And Rory McIlroy survives to win the second leg of the PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup. I think I've just learned. I've learned how to handle winning big events and carrying myself forward and uh, not dwelling on what's happened or, you know, just moving forward, you know, just trying to win another golf tournament. 
delighted to get this win, delighted to go to number one in the FedEx Cup. You know, it sets me up for a great next couple of weeks.